1994 our first record came out and uh, and that was kind of the start of this whole mess. We got our original trio back together again and, and hit the studio last September in Brushfire Records in Hollywood around the corner and uh, cut this new record called Sugar. So it's great because it's kind of like the new record Sugar is kind of like it definitely looks back stylistically but I feel like it definitely pushes forward for us playing wise and uh, performance wise and just vibe wise and, and writing wise so it's, it's pretty cool it feels good you know but the thing about this record it's like a real playable performance record and when we cut it we cut it as a live performance in the studio so the whole record really translates well live uh, around that time when I was 16 or 17 I started playing out on the street every time I went out on the street I'd make like twenty dollars and and that was pretty good money for like being 16 or 17 and, and uh, just having a good time. And it gave me a realization that, wow, I can actually make money playing music. I ended up you know, making a career out of it and actually I did make some money off it, which was great. Um, but the pursuit of it was just a love of music and a desire to write and perform songs. You know? I get an idea, it could be sitting here talking to you, it could be passing by a bum on the street and hearing them ramble or reading something or any lyrical phrase or even just a word that pops out at me uh, is, you know, could be a victim for a, a song. And like I always have a thing, like if you said some catchphrase to me and I'd be like, damn, that's good, I'm gonna write that down. And I'm gonna make a song of it. You say, well, damn, you gotta share it with me. I was like, well, no, you just said it. I'm gonna make. It. I'm gonna sing it. <laughs> I'm gonna make it into a song. There's some nights where it's harder than others to get up. Like if you're bummed out about something in your personal life, or you know, you're sick. Uh, whatever it is, it's like you got to get on stage. And the funny thing about it is that sometimes it's really hard to imagine like getting up for it and getting on stage. And um, you start playing, like I can't help it but like a big smile come over my face and I'll just, you know, just throw myself into it. And, um, and then whatever kind of thing was bothering you, you know, like emotional, spiritual, or you know, physical, it all goes away and, <clears throat> you know, you feel the power, that's the power of music, you know. Well, I've been surfing since, for as long as I play guitar, but I play guitar better than I surf. <laughs> but the last 10 years or so, I've, I've gotten a lot better, I think. Like, when I'm not playing music and not working, and I don't have any responsibilities, the thing I always want to do is go on a surf trip. I'm always pretty happy when I play guitar. I'm happy when I go surfing, but that can also be really frustrating, you know, if you have a bad day. Music you can get frustrated with as well if you're kind of stuck and can't really find the inspiration. But uh, I guess happiness is just doing what you love and I love playing music, you know.